This is Elena and what I'm going to do is show you how to do a perfectly smooth wrap or wig wrap. So I started with a section, a circular section in the crown. You can see that it comes down in the back a little bit and it goes all the way around to the front. Next I started with a side part right here and I'm going to start to wrap the hair in this direction. All I have in the hair right now is water and we're just going to comb that down and flat. So I'm taking my next section at the back of the ear and we're going to comb this hair up before I start to wrap it. So combing it up this way, wrapping it over and if you look from the front now, just drop your chin down a little bit, that's good. Come up and over the top of the head. So here we go. I'm coming around the circle. And what I'm going to do, instead of holding it here, because I only have two hands and I need them both, I'm going to take a clip and just replace my hand right there. So each time we wrap a section, we're going just to this panel here, combing it down and clipping it. We're not going to wrap it around until we get the rest of the hair into this panel. Okay, so we finished the circle. That last part around the top that we were just doing, that's where you want to clip as you go so that you almost have another pair of hands working for you. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out that top circle and also I used a little bit of hairspray even though we don't want to use too much now that the hair is in place and I just ran my hand over the surface. So what I'm going to do here is take out my clips in the back, drop this clip down, And this is going to get wrapped down and then over. So I'm just combing it carefully away from the edge of the circle without combing the circle. And I just want to get this nice and combed out all the way out and keep it really moist, like keep it wet so that when I go to comb it, it's very moldable. Keeping it flat. You can see I'm keeping my hand so that the hair is not completely flat against the head. Bringing it together, I'm going to place a clip right where my finger and my hand were holding it there, so just in here, and hold that in place. So here's the finished wrap. You can see how it's one smooth motion. You don't really see where anything starts or where it stops. And it's by being methodical, working section by section, working with wet hair, and staying in control of the hair. The next step is we're gonna diffuse this until it's dry enough to start placing pieces over it. All right, so now what I'm gonna do to contrast this, the direction and the shine going on here is I'm gonna use a wig, and I've actually taken a wig and cut out pieces out of it so we almost have like a cross shaped pattern and it's it's not an expensive wig but it is human hair so that we can blow it out and all that kind of stuff and what I'm going to do is place it right on top of the wrap and we're going to move it around a little bit decide where we want it to be and then we're just going to shape it on her face now that we know where we want it I'm just going to take this clip open it up we just sewed these on here and then I'm going to put it into her hair and then back again and then just snap it tight. So that will hold this into place for us. I'm going to do it with the other pieces as well. And then we're going to make this into a little geometric haircut that has spaces taken out of it. So first I'm going to get this front section in place. I'm just going to have Bethany hold this paper underneath here and I'm going to use the clippers so we get a very strong geometric line in there. 
Okay, now we're gonna work behind the ear. And here's where we can leave it, even leave it at that length and then bring this up higher. We'll leave that alone for now. And the cool thing is you can look from all angles and see what you want that panel to do. This one can sit over the ear, it can sit behind the ear. It just needs to stay in that range somewhere because of how the natural fall is gonna be. Now I'm just gonna take the diffuser and just mold the shape in a little bit closer. Here's Elena with her finished look. We've taken the black wig, we cut part of it out, and then we took what was left, laid it on top of the wig wrap, and we cut a geometric haircut into that wig piece. So you end up with something very editorial, very edgy, but it still looks very pretty.